Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Virtual Happy Hour. Today we are going to be making a clover club which requires fresh raspberries. If you have frozen, feel free to use those. Just bring them to room temperature because we are going to be muddling them. If you don't have any raspberries at all, use whatever berries you have. It's going to taste different. The raspberries obviously have that nice tartness that pairs really nicely with the gin and the simple syrup in this. But blueberries would work, strawberries, blackberries, you know, just try it out. Let me know how it turns out. I can't vouch for the quality of said drink. Um, but I do have a honey blueberry Collins on my blog, which is a very popular entry, which includes blueberries muddled with a honey syrup uh, and gin, of course, for a Collins. So I have faith that blueberries should turn out pretty nicely in terms of flavor. I almost slept through tonight's uh, happy hour because I was having a nap and in a panic had to get up and, and get organized for the day. Um, but I've made it, so let's begin. We're gonna take, I have little teensy tiny raspberries here, so I'm gonna use a few more, but if you have big regular sized raspberries, use three or four, and just put them into the bottom of your, of your shaker tin. I'm probably gonna use five, maybe six, because these are really small. I'm gonna throw them in here with half an ounce of simple syrup. I know not everyone will have berries, but you know, sometimes I have to use what I have on hand because after all, it is my show. So then we're gonna muddle, before I get ahead of myself and get distracted talking to you. Stop distracting me. God, you're so chatty. So again, we're gonna muddle and we really wanna kind of get the raspberries fully incorporated and mushed up into our syrup here because typically uh, this would be made with a raspberry syrup but I don't really think there's any need to go to that effort but we're gonna make sure that we double strain this cocktail so we don't get any of that you know muddled raspberry pulp in our finished drink because that's gonna impact the, the mouthfeel obviously. So that is looking pretty good well and mixed there and now we're gonna add Half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We have another egg white cocktail today, so continuing to live life on the edge. I have, as you may have noticed, completely stopped using my silver shaker because I just don't trust it anymore. I just don't trust it. How have you guys been spending this beautiful day? I hope you've been getting outside. I wish it was warmer. We're using two ounces of gin. I love a good nap. This morning took forever to get out of bed and then when I did I made myself a proper bacon and eggs breakfast with Cavendish hash browns and English muffins, the whole thing, and I watched The Devil Wears Prada. And that movie really holds up. As do all of Meryl's outfits throughout that outfit, uh, throughout that movie. Shockingly timeless. Often with fashion movies, or for instance, Sex in the City, the fashion totally doesn't relate when you go to watch it a few years later. Like if you watch Sex in the City season one, you'd be like, oh, we were wearing that then? Those low rise jeans? No, oh, thank you. That was a really bad look. And remember in like middle school, or at least when I was in middle school, uh, we would wear those really, really low-waisted jeans with the thong kind of coming up out of the jeans. I think Paris Hilton popularized that look on The Simple Life. So uh, glad we're not there. We're gonna give this a good shake. silk dress yet again. I want to thank everyone who sent me a note about my appearance on CTV Ottawa Morning Live yesterday. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate your kind words and your taking the time out of your busy schedules. 
to watch me. If you haven't seen it, but you would like to, it is, I've embedded the video on my blog, on the recipe post that's currently on the homepage for that coffee infused old fashioned that I made yesterday morning. So like as you can see, this takes a bit longer with the double straining. I just cap the edge of the strainer with the shaker. challenge with the double straining is we kind of lose the quality of the, of the foam from the egg white. It's like all in my, my strainer. Well, you'll get some impression of it anyway. All right, that's going to do. It's good enough for now sink and then we're gonna skewer some more of our little baby raspberries just three of them and have this beautiful little cocktail there you have it the clover club cheers That is really good. The glassware, as you can see, is beautiful, but requires quite a bit of uh, steady hands to use. Anyway, thank you for joining me for another episode, and I will see you on Monday. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Mm -hmm.